So no one decides what their why is. Mm -hmm. Your why is inside you. And if you choose to go on the journey of discovery um, and you're able to put that why into words. So the thing that drives your gut, like there's no part of your stomach that makes decisions, right? You, you know, your gut feeling comes from somewhere. Uh, and it is this deep seated purpose, cause or belief that we all have because we're all products of our upbringing and you are who you are. And, um, and so for me, it wasn't a question of um, uh, deciding on it, but it was m discovering it and not uncommon you can go through a process of discovery because you just decide you want to, um, or you can very often struggle uh, reveals your why to you. Um, I think that's probably very much your case as well. You know, you had to hit the bottom before you realized who you were. I had to face uh, what I thought was bankruptcy. I had to face collapse. I had to face um, humiliation um, uh, to, to discover what my cause was. And, and I think you probably share this as well, which is I, I couldn't have done it alone. And it, it, it took a friend coming to me in this very dark place that I spent all of my energy pretending that I was happy, more successful and more in control than I really felt. Um, uh, and lying, hiding and faking is exhausting. Mm. Um, and it, it took a friend to say, something's not right. Even my, fa I was so good at it, even my family didn't recognize it. Mm -hmm. And, but this friend did, and I came clean, and all of the energy went into, that was going into lying, hiding, and faking went into um, rediscovering passion. Um, and it wasn't the discovering of my why that set me on the path. It was the discovering of my why, and then wanting desperately to share with my friends, because I love my friends, and I want them to have what I found. And they started making crazy life changes, and making these, huge decisions with total confidence and they would invite me to their homes to share it with their friends and i would literally stand in someone's living room talking about this thing called the why and that's what ignite ignited the spark that i realized that i i had something to give um, um and you discover you discover service i mean this is what a life of service means which is um you know the the reason you know people keep talking about or we're told you have a gift you know, well, the very definition of a gift is it's supposed to be given. And I think that if you have a gift and you're not sharing it, I think you're just selfish.